following difficulties are common in Parkinson's disease. They have a progressive onset and there is no one single pattern. There are patients that will not have any difficulty swallowing solid food and others will have significant difficulties with a relevant impact on their quality of life. What you can do to understand these difficulties is to imagine that rigidity and bradykinesia present in the gait of someone with Parkinson's disease is also in the muscles of lips, tongue, pharynx and vocal folds. A sign of this is the reduction of facial expression. There is a common belief among families and patients that the only solution is to smash all food, which also has implications for the patient's nutritional status and quality of life. In fact, there is no evidence to consistently support that putting all food is the main strategy for managing dysphagia in this population. The relevant message here is that this must be discussed with the neurologist and the professional swelling assessment can make a difference. What patients will get from this assessment are strategies to include challenging foods in his or her diet, avoiding excessive restrictions and keep eating what he or she enjoys. Prefer naturally soft foods as they will move more easily down the digestive tract, avoiding the feeling of food stuck in the throat. Consider mixing dry and crunchy foods, such as nuts and biscuits, with others that moisten them, such as yogurts and boiled fruit. Try to alternate liquids and solids. With this strategy, you will clean the residues that can accumulate in pharynx during the meal and cause discomfort. Avoid eating and doing another task at the same time. Dividing attention between tasks decreases the quality of movement involved in each one. Turn off television during the meal and avoid important conversations at these moments. Your attention should be focused on chewing and swallowing. Remember to chew vigorously. Learn with us how to keep hard to swallow foods in your diet in a safe and tasty way. Don't miss our gastronomic tutorial on this topic. It's delicious. Keep it on.